Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Blue, welcome to Risk of Rain 2. Today, we are going to be talking about something inside the realm of Risk of Rain 2. Specifically, something that some of you may have noticed on the second level variant, the Abandoned Aqueduct. Or something aqueduct, something to do with aqueducts, I don't know, it's a desert, that's all you really need to know. Now, you may have noticed in your travels, a door. This door is locked for basically ever. Except, you can open it. How do you open it? Well, in the level, uh, the desert level, somewhere uh, in, I believe it's five random spots, there are two buttons. These buttons open the door. But the catch is, you need to step on both buttons at the same time. So what does that mean? That means that if you're playing solo, which I know a lot of people do, you know, there in the menu. If you're playing solo, you can't open this door. Except, you can. Now, the first way... Mm, you kind of can, kind of can't. That's kind of a bit finicky. Uh, to actually get the buttons down, you can roll these pots around the map onto it. But honestly, it's not that effective. It takes way too long, and honestly, you're better off just leaving the door at that point. But if you're playing solo, regardless of pots, there are currently three characters in the game who can get into that room solo. Those characters being the Mercenary, Huntress, and Engineer. Well, how did they do that? Well, that's what we're going to be showing you now today, ladies and gentlemen. So sit back and enjoy, and let's find out how we get inside that door. To start off, let's talk about Huntress and how she gets into the into the door, or into the room. Uh, for starters, Huntress has a blink that pushes her forward, basically wherever the camera is looking. You mostly use it for escape, gives you a little bit of iframes. It's an all right ability. But what it also has is a hidden property. Not as a hidden property, that's by the way to describe it. What it can do unintentionally is allow Huntress to blink through poorly constructed geometry. For example, this door, as you can see in the clip now. As you can see, Huntress was able to clip herself through the wall with her dash and come outside the other side of the door. What this allows her to do is immediately go back down into the room and, well, fight like the two Elder Lemurians, you know, the Fire One and the Ice One. They give you the bats, it's all a wonderful time. Free achievement for those who don't have it. It's a great time. Now, is this a legitimate way to get into the room? No. Is this how it was intended to get into the room? No. Is this basically exploiting a bug within the context of Huntress? Yes. Do most people have an issue with that? Fuck no. It's Risk of Rain. We just want to have fun. Next up is Mercenary. Much like Huntress, it's the same general idea. Dash into a wall that's not exactly constructed properly and come out the other side. I'm just gonna let the clip speak for itself on this one. Now some of you might be asking yourselves, how do I get out of the room once I've got in? Well, basically the same way you got in, to be honest. You kind of blink out through a poorly constructed wall. Actually, the same wall that you came in from. So, here's a clip to demonstrate that, just to prove that it is in fact possible. And you're not just trapped in there, ruining your run forever. Now, let's talk about something a little bit more interesting. Engineer. As you may have noticed, or if you've ever played the game at any point in time, Engineer does not have a dash. So you may be wondering, how does Engineer get in the room? Well, it's actually the most basic solution you can really much think of. It's basically doing the intended way solo. You see, as Engineer, you can put down little turrets. You know, these turrets shoot at things. They're, you know, they're very good. They're, a lot of people like using them. It's all good shit. But turrets have one property that can be exploited to get into that door. Turrets can activate the buttons you need to open that door. So much for watching this video until the end. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you learned something today. I'll probably try and do some more Risk of Rain videos soon, but for now, uh, having a good day and keep on playing Risk of Rain, I guess.